name is Khalid. And my name is Adam. This is the first time we are in Turkey and the WRO competition. The problem is Kuwait is hot and salty sand. How would earthworm live in this environment? We did some research about earthworm castings and cow manure to see which one is better for the soil. First, we figured out that worm's pH level is 6 to 7, but cow's pH level is 6.5 to 8.5. Worm castings is ready to use, but cow manure has to be composted to be ready. And if you don't compost it correctly, the, wor the plant that you are growing can die. And worm, and worm castings doesn't have any smell, but cow manure smells bad. And worm castings only produce CO2, but cow manure has many greenhouse gases like CO2 and N2. Worms recycle food waste, so if you give them a rotten apple, they can eat it and then turn, turn it into nutrients. But, cows does, but cow does not recycle food waste. And uh, worms... Worm castings have beneficial microbes, which is very good, but cow manures have harmful bacteria, which is bad for the environment. Now, this is our solution. So the solution is that we created a smart incubator, so we can control the environment for the earthworms and keep the worms healthy, and so we can take all the information of what the worms are doing using the sensors. So first of all, Layer 1 contains the water and the water level sensor. Layer 2 contains the composted soil and the temperature sensor. Layer 3 contains the soil, the worms, the food, and the gas, the gas sensor and the soil humidity. Last of all is the layer 4. It contains the motion sensor. And, the, and this is called the relay. It lies right here outside. So, like, it connects like other stuff that's not in the kit, and then like it gets connected. And now, and now, he's gonna tell us about what all of the stuff do. First, the temperature sensor sensor sa senses if how much is the temperature. Then the gas sensor. The gas sensor sees how much gas. For example, if there is gas. That means the earthworm did not eat the food. If there is no gas, that means they ate the food. Now the soil humidity sensor. The soil humidity sensor senses if the soil is humid or dry. The water level sensor will see how much water for the, for the nutrients for in here, for that can open it, and then the nutrients will fall for the gardeners and farmers to use. Then we have the motion sensor. The motion sensor will be at the last say, layer on, on top. And here it will show how many earthworms are on top. And then we're gonna see the relay. Relay anything that is out of the kit. Example, we use a water pump and we use the, uh, this, how do they interact? And the soil humidity sensor. The soil humidity sensor sees if the soil is dry, it will show us to add water. And the last one is the um, LCD screen. The LCD screen gives us all of the information of every sensor that, that, um, that is already. Now we are going to thank you for everything. And don't forget our, our compost box is carbon footprint is 1.9. And now I'm going to show you the website. We have four objectives for our project. To increase earthworm survival rate, to further study earthworms, to educate to the community and make money. And we, ha we have the carbon footprint for our project is only 1.9, which is very low and good for the environment. And here is the effect of farming earthworms. How does earthworm farming help in reducing greenhouse gases? One, less methane. Work, worms break down food scraps without making methane gas, unlike landfills. 
2. Stores carbon. Worms make soil that holds carbon, keeping it out of the air. 3. Less fertilizer needed. Worm compost is a, is a natural fertilizer, so we don't need as many chemicals that cause pollution. 4. four healthy soil. Worms attack good microbes, which help the soil hold, hold more carbon. 5. Saves energy. Worms far, worm farming can be done locally so it saves fuel and reduces pollution. And here we created a game that educates the community. And I'm the, and I'm the creator of the game and, I, and we all worked very hard to think of the game. We, we, you can buy a smart incubator a wormwood juice, which is water with uh, nutrients, and you can buy worms and the wormwood, which we unfortunately couldn't finish. And we, you can buy the soil, and we have a lot of community support. And here we went to a farm. They taught us all about all, everything we know about earthworms. And here is our report. And here's just some videos that we were in in social media. And then we, we are using these batteries that are renewable, if, that you can charge instead of trashing, instead of, you, instead of trashing batteries that you don't want, you could use these batteries that are good, that you could just try them and then they could work. Thank you for, for helping us. And thank you for watching this video. Thank you for listening.